This dog is gay because it likes flowers. Enjoy. Straight men of Reddit. What is the strangest thing you have been told not to do because that's gay? I said I like it when it rains. Raining men? Hallelujah. Putting on sunscreen. Somebody called me gay for doing that before too. I didn't realize as a hetero I was supposed to die of skin cancer. R slash why women live longer. My boss refuses to wear sunscreen because it is for gays. I'm gay and I wear sunscreen because skin cancer is for straight men. The strangest one I've heard is two guys can't drive around in a convertible with the top down. Another one, two guys can't sit next to each other in a movie theater if it's not crowded. Chilling in a hot tub less than 5 feet apart. Hell if the theater isn't crowded you can bet I'm not gonna sit next to anyone because there's no need to fight over an armrest. One time a girl thought I was gay because I was attentive during sex. I'm not even joking. Fellas, is it gay to want to please your lady? Kinesis. Loving your girlfriend slash wife and wanting her to feel good. What kind of gay shut is this? Everyone knows only gay men want to please their wives. That's the gay agenda you've heard so much about. We go around giving women the best sex of their lives in order to make straight men look bad. It's a long term project. If there is a gay agenda is there a gay reading of the minutes from the last meeting? Can I have a number? Low expectations is my sweet spot. I think you have to be the traditional no feelings not good at communicating male for her. Or else she won't be convinced you are at least not B. Again. What's her number? If it helps, I'll take off for a few weeks at a time and not call. Eating at a sushi restaurant with another guy. Having close male friends equals gay. Having close female friends equals gay. Evidently one can't win. Having close friends is gay. Duh. The straightest thing in the world is to quietly spiral into depression alone in the privacy of your own home. I'm the straightest man alive. Ask me anything. At work I once complimented another man on his outfit. My male co-workers looked at me as if I had asked if he had naked photos of himself I could see. Man, if I got a compliment and prompted like that from a male or female, it would make my whole ducking month. This is why we gotta start normalizing men giving each other compliments. I still hold on to compliments from years ago. Same. Actually, one of the best compliments I ever got, and probably the most recent one, sadly, was several years ago from my gay friend's boyfriend. He said my chest hair looked like the tree of life, which he meant in a complimentary way. As someone who was always self-conscious about being hairy, I'm very Italian. I damn near cried. Carry an umbrella. Real men get wet. They get wet when it's raining. They get wet on a fishing boat in a storm. They get wet in the shower after an all-male threesome. I can get behind this. You can get behind me anytime you want. Broke a guy's jaw in high school. Sent him a get well card while he was in the hospital. He called me gay for sending the card. On accident or on purpose? Cause sending someone a get well card after intentionally breaking their jaw is a power move lol. Get well soon. So I can break it again. Bro that's so gay. So I can break it again. From all the kissing. Bro. It was intentional. He was pushing around a friend of mine. The card had a bunny on it. That's not gay. That's big duck energy. Beating the shut out of a bully then sending him a get well card is alpha as duck. My girlfriend once seriously asked me if I was gay because I said that I liked her body. Safe to say she had some issues. A girl I was dating once started crying and asked if I was gay because I was attentive to her and remembered specific things she had told me about herself. Apparently caring about her and trying to be a good partner equals gay. Yeah, she also had some severe self-esteem issues to work out. To this day my ex still thinks the reason I paid attention and listened to her was because I'm B. She said no straight men would listen. A friend told me I'm holding my fork in a gay kind. Better than holding it like a Neanderthal like me I guess. Drinking out of a straw makes sucking duck feel normal. That's how you turn gay. That's a great way to identify people who have never had a good B job. Two of my friends from high school died in a car accident a week before the graduation. Everyone from the classroom went to the funeral and some LF my classmates were crying a lot. I decided to hug one of them and comfort him. One of my closest friends. And this guy, a fat one, 
part of the popular cool group which are always doing stupid stuff to get attention, came into me, touched my back, and yelled you die didn't know you like duck ha ha ha. He was kicked from the funeral and lost probably 90% of his friends. You can tell who was never hugged by their parents, just based on their actions alone. Playing the saxophone. Honestly what in the world? I grew up in the 80s to 90s saxophone equals sex. My Pavlovian response to hearing saxophone is to expect sex, whilst putting a tube-like object in your mouth. 80s kid here. Anything involving showing emotion is gay. Wearing any clothing that isn't muted is gay. Stating that something is cute is gay. Getting excited about hobbies is gay. Calling your guy friends to talk is gay. Crying is gay. Airing grievances of everyday life is gay. Washing your butthole is gay. Using lotion other than jacking off is gay. Shaving anything other than your face and neck is gay. I grew up in the 80s too. My teenage son came along with me once to a get together of some old high school friends of mine. I had a great time shooting the shot, playing cards, and having beers with those guys. Afterwards, my son remarked that it seemed like we didn't actually like each other all that much, like there was an undertone of aggression to the whole night. I didn't notice it at all, but watching him and his friends interact, it became clear to me why he would think that. He and his friends seem to always be genuinely kind to each other and supportive of one another and don't make jokes at each other's expense. That's actually pretty cool. Kinda gay, but cool. Not exactly that's gay, but a guy talked down to me once for using the word craving. Because cravings are something only women get. Man, I'm horny for some chocolate chip cookies and warm milk right now. Is that better? I got a stomach boner for something mints. Not that I've been told not to do it, but I know a guy who refuses to eat kitty because he says it's gay. Edit. To clarify, he believes eating kitty is an act of sexual submission and only gay men are sexually submissive. This is utterly stupid. I've heard that. But that's where a duck goes. So it's like kissing a duck. Shut the f up with that. So many problems and insecurities there. I don't like girls cause girls like duck and that's gay. Being a guy is pretty gay, like imagine having a duck attached to you at all times smh. Fellas, is it gay to be a man? I mean, to the Aristotelian view of mind-body dualism, you're literally inside a man at all times. Then don't kiss girls that's where boys lips go to, so it like kissing a guy. Learn the names of different kinds of clothing. In the one specific case I can recall, I was apparently gay for knowing what a balaclava was. This wisdom was dispensed by a gym teacher, which really solidified my acceptance of the stereotypes about them. Weird considering it's a common military item. What's gayer than the military? A bunch of dudes living together, sweating together, showering together. That's pretty damn gay. I was at a party with my gf and my siblings, minding my own business, while drinking sparkling water. My bil. Dude, are you drinking sparkling water? That's so gay. Me. Points at my gf. Bil. Me. Look I'm sorry, but you're not my type, and with my sister. Several months prior I was at a gay bar ordering a sparkling water. The bartender. Smug af. Really? Sparkling water? You must be straight. What is it with me drinking sparkling water and my perceived sexuality? I guess that means that sparkling water is a bisexual drink. That would explain why it gets no respect in either the gay or straight world. Washing my asshole. Friend of mine once said everyone knows that's gay, you can miss me with that. Apparently you are only allowed to wash your cheeks and let suds run down your crack. Any direct contact with your own asshole and you will catch the gay. If clean is gay, I'd rather be gay. I too would change my sexuality to get a day license. This is very much a thing. I've read articles about men who don't even wipe off the shutting because they think it's gay. Women bitch about the bed sheets and underwear they have to deal with because their men don't wipe their ass. That's subtly disgusting. I don't even understand how those women are still with them. It's their only option. All the men that wipe ass are already by taken by other clean gentlemen. <laughs> Having ass hair. My cousins convinced me only gay people have ass hair. And the more ass hair the gayer they are. Guess I'm like the king of gays now mayo. I've also seen here that shaving your ass is gay. Everything is gay. <laughs> I'll admit that I was the perpetrator in this case. When I was very young, 
like 8 or 9, I was convinced eating strawberries was kinda gay. Same here. When I was around 10, some friends of mine told, made fun of me for liking strawberry pop tarts. Only girls and gays like strawberry flavored anything, they said. I'm straight, but if liking artificially flavored strawberry things is gay, then I'ma start sucking that duck. Drink any beverage out of a bottle, rather than a cup. Maybe don't deep throat the bottle? Can I still stick it up my butt? Wearing green on Thursday. I have no clue why. That's oddly specific. I feel like even knowing this is gay is gay. Apparently going out for Mexican and margaritas with your pal. No one said it directly, but the waitress gave us a complimentary dessert for two, and said happy anniversary, free dessert is free dessert, I guess. My best friend and I, both girls, went to senior prom together. We weren't dating anyone at the time, so going as friends was a nice way to have a good time and still nab that couple's ticket discount. We went out for dinner before the dance, and this group of 20-somethings in the corner that we'd never met before kept smiling at us across the room and giving us the thumbs up. When we went to pay for the food, we'd found that it had already been paid for, and that was when I realized that we'd been mistaken for lesbians, and those smiley folks were probably just trying to be supportive. To be fair, I looked pretty butch, and in retrospect most straight girls probably wouldn't pair a prom dress with a leather jacket. Anyways, I consider that an absolute win. Some nice strangers got to feel supportive, and we got a free meal out of it. Being mistaken for lesbians was economical as duck. My wife was told by someone that she shouldn't carry a rose-colored diaper bag because it could confuse our infant son. That person was her mother. Things that confuse babies, their hands, their feet, new smells, solid food, daytime, nighttime, and pooping. Things that do not confuse babies, pink bags. Rala skating was gay all of a sudden. If you had a piercing in the right ear you were gay. Anything dance related. Having a piercing in your right ear was widely known as being gay when I was growing up in the 2000s. Never really understood it. I was taking prescription strength painkillers after surgery. My friend had come over to check on me. Her boyfriend, ex, thought it was gay to take painkillers and told me to be a man. Jokes on you buddy, I'm high as duck right now. My granddad once told me not to brush my hair because looking pretty is for women and the gays. Duck you, buddy. I want to look nice and not like I'm chasing hedgehogs through a ducking bush, you unwashed heathen.